So it's currently Halloween and I'm in the basement of my five-story multi-generational passive ICF house that I have been DIY building. And uh, the other night looked like one of my worst nightmares came true. So um, uh, I was putting in the iJoys down here and I needed to uh, use the level and uh, the level was showing that unfortunately and this happens a lot when you DIY I and mean, it's my first time putting in um, an eye joist like this on a house of this size and um, I showed that I screwed up the level showed that I'd screwed up and uh, that they were not level so I decided to check um, just to make sure that the level was right because when um, I started pouring this ICF house, all of my blocks were level when I poured them. Remember, this thing is 48 feet tall. There's over a million pounds of concrete. And you can see, yeah, I'm down in the basement and it goes up a long ways. There's a million pounds of concrete. That's a lot of weight. And uh, while I did do my footers, the size that the structural engineer said, and I spent thousands of dollars um, uh, getting geological engineering, um, uh, yeah, like I said, when I, poured, when I poured my walls, they were level. And then the other night, this is what I saw. So let me go ahead and put this on uh, the line, and I will show you what I saw it's the house is tilting a lot so like 10 inches tilting because to straighten it out so that it's level over six feet it's a it's a two inch tilt and this is 34 feet wide and then 72 feet long so for about 10 minutes there i was stressing i was going around to all of the walls and um, throughout the whole thing, and unfortunately, every single wall that I threw the level on showed the same thing, that the house is tilting. Basically, Leaning Tower of Pisa. Fortunately, we haven't backfilled yet. It's been a two-year long process of uh, my building this thing because I do have a day job. And so I was thinking, all right, have it backfilled. It's going to cost $10,000, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000, but... It's still fixable. We'll be able to pump concrete under. We have some other ways to lift um, really heavy buildings. I've seen the skyscrapers. They've had to lift those. And uh, then the thought occurred to me that I was putting a lot of faith in uh, this Harbor Freight six foot metal level. So I went and got a little tiny um, uh, level six inch level and I put it on top of it and uh, the good news is this metal level is the one that is broken and uh, so my two foot level when I threw my two foot level on my walls good news is my walls are still level I'm not having to deal with the lean tower pizza I mean already this house that I'm building is a tourist location not a tourist location, but there's a lot of people in my city who are stopping to watch the progress on this thing. Um, uh, but yeah, if it, if it was leaning 10 inches, then yeah, it'd become even more of a tourist thing. So uh, moral of this story or this little video is before you doubt your walls, doubt your level. <laughs> um, uh, get a couple of levels. Maybe I shouldn't have bought the Harbor Freight um, uh, level. But anyways, be sure to like and subscribe so you can follow along on this crazy journey as I continue to build this very tall multi-generational home. Thanks for watching.